Hey guys, what is going on? This is Karina from Day by Day K, your fitness instructor and fitness friend here, bringing you another breakdown video of last week's workout. So, as you guys remember, last week we did the Tabata kettlebell workout. Um, I showed you guys how the class did and basically I broke down some of the moves. In today's video, I'm just gonna show you a one-on-one, -on -one, kind of like if you are planning on doing it at home by yourself, or again, if you wanna try it out at the gym or if you just needed a little bit more detail on maybe some different options to modify or whatnot or intensify. Um, so let's get right into the video and I'll see you at the very end. Ciao, ciao. We are starting off with kettlebell ski swings. So you're doing this exercise for eight rounds, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Make sure your kettlebells are heavy enough that you're not feeling this through the shoulders. It's the core and the whole posterior chain working and also your legs. Okay, that's gonna be followed by a combo here. So you wanna make sure you're bracing that core, keeping it nice and tight. You can do this on your knees if it helps you to keep that tightness. It's a bicep curl for two, shoulder press for two, and tricep extensions for two. You can also use dumbbells, so you can have one weight in each hand, or if you feel that you have any sensitivities to any of these exercises, you can skip one out and just repeat one of the three movements here or two of the three movements. But again, you're going eight rounds, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. That's followed by um, single leg side squats, I guess you can call it. Everyone has a little bit of a different name for it. So you just wanna make sure that when you're coming up, from that squat position, you're really pressing through that leg. The opposite leg, you're noti noticing on me um, that I'm keeping that leg nice and straight. My knee is soft, okay? So I'm hitting that inner thigh, getting the whole body going. You, if you wanna intensify, you do four rounds on one side, then switch legs, or you can keep alternating for each round. From there, we have a combo move. So we have bicep curls on tippy toes, which is gonna engage your legs as well as all the little muscles in your feet and your ankles as well as those biceps and this you're doing for 20 seconds 10 second break and then we're gonna go into squats okay so um, this is the only round that I did two alternating exercises so again with this one you can go a little bit heavier pumping through those squats squeezing those glutes at the top really working that lower body hard that's gonna be followed by plank rows so i'm doing rows in a plank position of course option is to just hold a plank you want to make sure your hips are aligned with the floor okay from there we're going to get that cardio back up so we're doing squat jumps from side to side i'm using the kettlebell as a kettlebell as a marking point in order for me to take it down nice and low into that squat and of course you can always um, substitute or alternate with just sidestepping into your squats. That's gonna be followed by lunges and I'm using the kettlebell to place it under the leg, rotating it under, just to help me get that lunge down a little bit lower. Still engaging the core, keeping that back flat, not letting the front leg pass the knee. And the final Tabata one is basically back rows here. So bracing that core and really pulling in, squeezing the center of that back and um, going 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So from here, they basically, this is their last Tabata round and then we're gonna finish off with a little bit of core. So for the core, we're just basically holding a ball and you're pushing the ball into your knees and your knees are pushing into the ball. Um, your hands are staying nice and straight. If you feel like that's enough for you, perfect, stay there. If not, you can add on by doing a dead bug, but you're still really pushing your hand and your knee into the ball when you're with the two limbs that are actually holding that ball in place. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thanks again for sticking all the way till the end. Really appreciate it. So if you enjoyed the content that you saw today, make sure you hit that like button. And if you haven't yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can hit, get some more videos just like this one. I hope you guys enjoy the new format with the different options and so on and so forth. Let me know what you think and I'll see you guys next week. Ciao.